G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. What we have here is we have nine boxes. Each one represents numbers that you have to find out. The boxes with the same colours represent the same number. So red and red here represent the same number. The dark blue and the dark blue here represent the same number. Light blue and light blue represent the same number. Black and black represent the same number. And this pink obviously here is a number unto itself. You are looking for the correct numbers that go into these boxes to make these equations true. So this number plus this number, take away this number, will equal 9. Anyway, so pause this video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready to keep watching and learn how to solve this problem, start up again. Good luck. So time's up, how did you go with that? This problem's not as hard as you might think and you might have done a whole lot more steps than you need to to solve it. So the first thing you're going to do to solve these is I am going to label these boxes with letters just to make it a bit easier to explain. So the red box we're going to call A, so this red box here is also A. The black box is B, and this is also going to be B down here. This dark blue box is C, so this dark blue box is also C. The light blue box is D, this one's also going to be D, and this one by itself we will call E. So there's a couple of things that we can see here right away. So first off, you may have noticed that there's an A plus D here, and there's an A plus D here. A plus D plus B here is equal to 17, and the A plus D plus C here is equal to 11. So the difference between C and B would have to be 6. In fact, B is going to be the bigger one, so we can say the following is true. We can say that B subtract C is equal to the difference between 17 and 11, which is 6. Now what you might notice is there is a B subtract C just here. So we can substitute B, take away C, with 6 here, because we know that value is 6. 6 plus what number equals 12? So we've worked out D right away. We know that D has to equal 6, because 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. We can also substitute in the 6 value on the D over here. So let's do that. You also may notice there is another B subtract C just here. So we can also substitute that in as well. We know that this is 6, so A plus 6 is equal to 9. So we can work out what A equals. A, therefore, is going to be equal to 3, because 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. We can also substitute this 3 value in down here. So it shouldn't be hard to work out the rest of these values. We can work out C here pretty simply, and we'll be able to work out this one here. So let's do this. What number plus 3 plus 6 equals 11? Well, that'll have to equal 2. And therefore, this value here is also 2. We can now work out B. So let's work that out. What number subtract 2 plus 6 equals 12? That's going to be 8. 8 take away 2 is 6, plus 6 is 12. It means that this value here is also 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. Subtract 2 is equal to 9. Lucky last, we can work out what E is equal to. And this one's a bit of a harder one. 6 take away a certain number plus 3 is equal to 13. It's going to have to be negative 4. 6 subtract negative 4 is 10 plus 3 is 13. And it should be right this way as well. 8 plus negative 4 is 4. Take away 2 is equal to 2. And there you have it. We have our answer. So how did you go with that? No problems. If you like the problem, give us a thumbs up and remember to comment in the comments down below and there's going to be plenty more problems coming along. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.